in the Spirit's first four games, they have become well acquainted with this orange turf end zone. Whether it is a Chris Ewens run, an Austin McCullough pass, or something in between, there has been no stopping Ottawa's offensive output. Sun Devil Hockey completed a sweep of Michigan State last weekend. We go to Ethan for more. In Friday night's game between Desert Vista and Basha, things constantly changed with a snap. Out of the gates, the Thunder scored 17 unanswered points and had almost no opposition. But in the second quarter, Basha looked like the better team and cut the lead to just four. It was truly a game of trends, but things changed for good in the third quarter. It is crunch time for Arizona State. The Sun Devils are 4-1 and one and tied for second place in the Pac-12 South. ASU controls its own destiny with Arizona currently sitting at the top. A win over Washington State Saturday would be crucial to these Pac-12 title chances, but it won't be easy. The Sun Devils will have to keep up with one of the NCAA's best offenses, but ASU has a weapon of its own, Jaden Daniels. He sees the field like a seasoned veteran. It's really, it's just very unique. Uh, so he's able to multitask too. He's able to talk, listen to me while I'm talking and he's looking up the field and he's looking around and he's able to, to do all of those things. Uh, so he's kind of way ahead of the game in that area. ASU will have to do more than just keep up. It will have to make stops in the trenches and that won't be easy. The Cougars have scored more than 50 points four times this year, but coming in rested from a bye week could help the Sun Devils. I'm happy the bye week came for two reasons. One, we were beat up, and you should be beat up this time of year, five games in. If you're playing physical football, you got a lot of nicks and bruises. And then they are unique. I mean, shoot, they're 546 yards a game total offense, fourth in the country. The last time Washington State and Arizona State played in 2016, it was a 37-32 win in favor of the Washington State Cougars. That game, quarterback Luke Falk threw for nearly 400 passing yards. If the Sun Devils want to win on Saturday, they'll need to do better defensively than they did three years ago. At Sun Devil Stadium, I'm Carson Field, Cronkite News. April is coming. At least Charlie Turner Thorne hopes so as her team continues its run in the 2019 NCAA Tournament. In the first two games, the Sun Devils were near flawless. They asserted their dominance in Coral Gables, forcing UCF and Miami to bend the knee. But the road doesn't get any easier. First, ASU has a trial by combat with Mississippi State, the number one seed in the Portland Regional. After that, they could face off with two-seed Oregon, who beat them twice this year. For ASU to reach the next round, the women's basketball gods will have to work their magic. Will ASU climb toward women's basketball's iron throne, or will Charlie and the Sun Devils go flying out the moon door? We will know soon enough. ASU Soccer's Nicole Douglas is our Devils in Detail Athlete of the Week. The freshman sensation was a crucial factor in the Sun Devils' two victories over the Washington schools this past weekend. Now ASU begins a three-game stretch away from home. First, the Sun Devils head to the Bay Area for a game against San Francisco. Then, they face Mississippi State in the first game of the MGM Resort's main event. What do you think the team's record will be at the end of this stretch? In addition to several programs in their respective NCAA tournaments, it was an interesting week for ASU on social media. The university's athletic department was called out in a tweet from Ari Wasserman, a college football beat reporter for The Athletic. He said, quote, Arizona State is the most underperforming athletic department in college sports. They have the money, resources, climate, recruiting territory, end quote. I think most everybody can agree with the second part of that tweet. ASU is blessed with a beautiful campus, superb facilities, and great weather, to mention a few of Tempe's appeals. But Ari hasn't been paying much attention to the national collegiate sports landscape if he truly believes the first half of his rant. And there you have it. Thanks, Edwin. Now we move from the pitch to the ice. This week's Athlete of the Week was on the gridiron, and that was Eno Benjamin. Benjamin broke the school rushing record for yards in a single game with 312. He also found the end zone three times on the ground and once in the air. The sophomore has now rushed for 595 yards and combined for seven total touchdowns on the year. Now back to the desk. Thanks for joining me as always, Trevor. Now it's time to honor a Sun Devil great, Pat Tillman. In 2004, Pat Tillman passed away serving in the United States Army, but the legacy of a legend never dies. The former Sun Devil and Arizona Cardinal linebacker was inducted into the Arizona Sports Hall of Fame Thursday, joining the likes of other sporting greats from the Grand Canyon State. In 1997, 
Tillman won Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year and was one of the leaders on the Sun Devil team, which made a Rose Bowl appearance. Friday's win marks the second time of the year the Sun Devils have defeated a ranked opponent, the first being a 10-7 thriller over Michigan State. Before taking on Washington State for the Sun Devils' sixth game of the year, they will have a bye week. During that time, they will look to get some rest and sharpen their skills before taking on the Cougars. In Berkeley, I'm Carson Field, Inferno Intel. What's up, everybody? I'm Carson Field, he's Ethan Schmidt, Welcome to the semester finale of Devils in Detail. It's hard to say, but with the way things have gone lately, ASU's spot in the national scene should be questioned by nobody. We'll be back in 2019 with more great shows, but for now, check out the latest in ASU athletics at devilsindetail.com and on Twitter at devils underscore detail. One last time, he's Ethan Schmidt. I'm Carson Field. This is Devils in Detail.